I am out at a very windy Harper Ranch today to try to fix a well. Um, I've got some video I'll put in here uh, showing the clicking sound or whatever the well was doing. I have a little pressure gauge buried in there. It pressures up to 60 and then falls immediately. And ultimately um, it melted a, a capacitor in the control box of the well. So today I'm gonna to put in a new control box. Um, I've got lots of questions about this whole setup. Um, it is not, if you've seen any of the other videos about this well, and, and if you've seen any of the pictures of it, you'll know that it's uh, not, not exactly the most, um, shall we say, professional looking uh, job. My concern is that the pump that I have might be a one and a half horsepower pump and the control box I got is a one horsepower control box. Um, so that may be causing some of my problems. Now the pump may be going bad, which would be bad news. Um, I have no idea, but today I'm gonna put a new control box on. I got a one horsepower control box that I got at Lowe's in Kerrville, um, which is basically the closest, closest city um, to Harper. It's about 20 or 30 minutes away. Um, and it's not terrible. Um, I actually have to come through Kerrville to get here. Uh, so anyway, so I've got the control box. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to see if the well will run. And then I've got a number of things that, you know, need water. The, uh, the hillbilly uh, uh, pool and spa is, is getting low and I need to fill it. And um, so having the well function for that is important. Having the well function to refill the uh, cow's water. I've got those great big storage tanks. Um, so the water for the cows is gravity fed, but you have to fill the storage tank and then it gravity feeds, right? And so at this point, I'm pretty sure that the storage tanks are probably a little bit lower um, than they have been in the past because the well hasn't been running all week. So we'll go get a video of that a little, see, see I'll see if I can get a video or a picture of the water level in the tank right now. And after I do that, then I'll get a little bit of video of me putting the, uh, the new control box in place for the water well. All right, attempt number two to drop a phone into our tank. All right. So the water, the water level is definitely down should be up here floating like this when it's full but as you can see the water's gone down a little bit because the pump hasn't been on for a week let's go fix that first up i'm going to show you what we're working with here um, that is the pump control box but i've already taken the top off of it we're going to go check the breaker and make sure it's off then we're going to get a the wire tester. I'm going to verify that it's off and then we'll install a new um, actual control box. I'll show you what that looks like. Step one, we're going to verify that the breaker for the well is off. And the, in fact, the breaker for the well is off. Step two will be to use an electric tester to verify that we do or do not have power. Now, one of the things you should always do is verify that the tester is working. So we're gonna turn it on. We see the light, we see power is on. There's no beeps. The one beep that you do hear is if you, if you move it like this, it, this thing detects basically magnetic fields. It detects electrons moving. And so when you're moving the tool, it simulates what electrons do as they pass across the top of the, the wires. Well, let's go verify this actually works. Best way to verify that your electric tester works is to find a cord that you know has power in it. And this cord has power. It powers the hillbilly internet. And clearly, this tester is working. Back to our very janky 
configuration here. And we do not have, I don't know what that was about. Are you electrified somehow? Interesting. I have the sensitivity set up very high on this tester, which is why you'll see me moving slow. But there does not seem to be any power on any of these things. So now we can safely put our new uh, control box on. I have two options. I have the new control box that I bought, which I'm gonna use. And then I have the old control box where the capacitor broke, but I bought a new capacitor. It's a little bit different size in terms of dimensions, but uh, electrically, this should be an equivalent replacement for the capacitor that was on this box. So these control boxes basically consist of a capacitor, a very large capacitor, and then this like relay. Um, and that's kind of all to it, all there is to it. These are the plugs that plug into that control box. Um, the new control box comes complete, right? It's an entire box. As you can see, it comes with the back part. But I'm very lazy and I don't want to have to knock holes in it and run wires and disconnect all the other stuff. So all I'm going to do is take that screw out, take the cover off, and then take the cover and plug it into the existing box. I'm going to keep these parts um, as sort of a spare backup on site because um, this is the what second control box I've put in in less than two years. This is why I suspect there's a pump mismatch or some other thing going on uh, with this control box. Like when I say pump mismatch, the control box may be for a one horsepower motor and the motor in the, the well pump may be a you know, one and a half horsepower motor or something like that. So there it is. There's the basic, you know, broken one, new, new capacitor that I need to put in new one with capacitor plugs these should look familiar to the box that we've videoed previously so i'm just going to take this piece and plug it into the old one this is pretty simple operation here basically just take this part line up the spades and plugs in there two-hand operation. I'm off up here. And that really should be it. I'll leave the screw out for now. I'm going to go turn on the uh, breaker and we'll see, uh, we'll see if this works correctly now. All right, we're going to turn the breaker on. We'll see if it pops immediately or not. No. That's a good sign. Let's go check the uh, the wellhead. All right, I can hear the water running and maybe we can see that the pressure gauge right here shows that it's working. I mean, the other way to test, test this is we have water, yay. All right, I'm gonna put the screw in this thing and call it good. Uh, last important point here before we go up and check the water fill on the storage tank. I turned this valve off, which is the feed to the upstream that goes up to the tank. And so at this point, we're not short cycling. We've got pressure. We're holding at 60 PSI, which was not the case. I'll put a, a short clip of the, uh, the scenario that we had previously where this thing was cycling, click, 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 click. It pressures up to 60 and then... Um, it would go up to 60 PSI, that would drop, go up, drop, go up, drop. And I don't know if that was the pump just wasn't running or the capacitor was bad so it couldn't start the pump to actually get it to run properly or what. But bottom line is, 
we've got pressure we're holding it whatever 40 to 60 psi right there right now um, and so i think the pump is is actually working obviously like we tested we saw here we have water pressure drops we'll hear the relay kick on it may not be able to raise the pressure because i've got this wide open but when we turn that off we'll watch the pressure rise I can hear the pump running. It's very quiet. I more of feel it in this hose right here. I can feel the vibration of the pump running. You can see the pressure gauge going up and you can hear it click off. And that's the right way. That's the proper uh, method of operation. So let's turn this valve on. We'll watch pressure drop again. Pump should kick on. We heard the relay. And now we'll go up to the tank and we'll check, check it to see if it's filling. When the water level rises enough, this flow will come up and shut off that valve. Fixing the well was really my only uh, mission this afternoon, coming to the uh, property at, on a Friday afternoon, late, late evening. Um, and so at this point, I'm headed home. I'll be back on Sunday. Um, the uh, plan is to uh, go camping next week. Um, I will be kind of staying at my my mother's house at Nana's house um, for most of the week because I do have to work um, but I will be here for a little bit I will help my in-laws get their trailer out of the property and then uh, we will return the trailers the following weekend <laughs>